my wife and I graduated from the public schools in California, they were among the best and among the best funded. Uh, in the last 30 years, we've gone from among the best to in the middle of the pack in terms of performance, in terms of after cost of living spending per pupil, we're the lowest in the country. Every school in the state has suffered under the current conditions. We are so fortunate here on the coast to have schools that are succeeding in spite of that. And they're not succeeding by magic. They're succeeding by the community coming together to make it happen. I'm very proud of this community that's been able to raise over $2 million for the endowment fund through the Cabrillo Education Foundation. The endowment is an opportunity for individuals to give to a long-term fund that is set up and invested conservatively. Every year, a portion of those funds will be given out to the schools for perpetuity. I went to El Granada Elementary School, Cunha uh, Intermediate School, and Half Moon Bay High School. Uh, and then I went to Yale. I graduated from San Jose State in uh, 2004 with a double major in um, criminal justice and sociology. I went to Wesleyan University in Connecticut. UC Davis. Went to the University of California, Berkeley. Half Moon Bay High School was a fantastic experience for all three kids. All the kids are quite different. They have very different interests. When they've gone to college, one of our first questions has been to them, um, have you felt prepared? When I was going to college, I was particularly concerned about how I would be able to compete against the other people at Yale, particularly because I knew 60% of them would have gone to private schools. Many of them would have gone to places like Andover, Exeter. But when I got into class, I felt that I was totally at the level of um, everyone I was there with. High school was what made a, a difference for me and what um, made me want to go to college. I had a lot of support from the counselors and the teachers who were pushing me to take the higher level classes. Instead of taking life science, I was pushed into biology, uh, math, I made it all the way to pre-calculus. Mrs. Logan's AP bio class is one of the best classes I've taken anywhere, um, including all of my classes at Berkeley. We use the same textbook and I think I learned more with Mrs. Lohman and in the, you know, have a nice small class and get a lot of individual attention in there. I wouldn't be working in science now without having taken that class. I think public education is very important, especially on the coast side here. My experience in the Cabrillo Unified School District really shaped me to pursue and, and want to uh, do the healthcare management um, profession that I have. There are opportunities for kids here that can only exist in a situation like this. Uh, we are a single high school district and a single middle school district. The main thing that sticks out to me about my experience both at Cunha and the high school is starting with a core group of kids when you're in kindergarten and then when you come to Cunha you sort of add in all the, these other kids on the co side and then by the time you graduate you feel like you're really a part of a class, you're really a part of a group of people that you've grown up with. That's rather unique. Everybody knows each other on the coast side. It's a fantastic place to grow up and I think raise kids. There's just an unbelievable tightness and camaraderie amongst the community to support uh, kids in any endeavors. When you bring your kid to school at Cunha every morning, you're in your car and if you look out on the sidewalks, there are teachers positioned every hundred yards or so all around the campus during the entire time that kids are being dropped off in the morning and when they're being picked up in the afternoon. Um, again, Mr. Andrews out greeting kids by name in front of the school every morning. Um, that is, you, you can't buy that. That is, <laughs> that's community. That is, this is our flock. We're watching over them. You just always had a sense that people that really cared about their jobs were paying attention and looking out for your kid. If you think about what are the values you want to get out of high school, it shouldn't just be that I would like to go to Harvard in four years. It should be I would like to become a person who can get myself where I want to go on my own. And by going to public school, particularly at Half Moon Bay, you will get the excellent education that you're looking for, but you'll also get uh, to be a person who lives in what the world is really like. I'm currently attending uh, Notre Dame uh, in Belmont and hoping to obtain a master's in public administration. Um, I just want to be able to, to give back to this community. You know, I think my parents always say, either you believe in public education or you don't, and our family believes in public education. Um, and it has really served all of us very well.
One of the exciting things about being on the Allocation Committee is was hearing all of the great ideas and all of the thoughts about where we can go with this district and with our schools. We talk to parents groups, we talk to Hispanic groups, we talk to the staff of every school, uh, we talk to the superintendent and his cabinet, his leaders and um, I felt like the process was very thorough. There's just a wide variety of places where the endowment can make a difference and one of them that we heard a lot is technology and starting to figure out what's the best way to use technology in our schools to broaden education. And the ideas just kept bubbling and bubbling and bubbling. More arts, more theater, more music uh, throughout the schools. The whole child a lot of feedback on the whole child, so being able to fake, focus on playground time, um, anti-bullying programs, ability to focus on their life outside of school to help them through problems. The list has just begun of things that we could do, ways that we could help, uh, big and small. I think participating in the Cabrillo Education Fund endowment program, it, if you have uh, really any resources to do that, is a wonderful investment in the future of our kids and the future of our community. All donors are important, all donors, big and small. If we can get to two million, why can't we get to five million? Why can't we get to 10 million? The things that the Cabrillo Education Fund is doing is imperative to the future success of both Half Moon Bay High School and the other schools within the district. So when CEF was first started and put out its goal of a $2 million endowment, a lot of people were like, yeah, right, that's never gonna happen. Well, guess what, it's happened. But to go beyond that and really make this a legacy for the community where we move to five or $10 million, that will mean more and more secured local funding for our schools that will continue to be an investment and give back to our community. Science. Reading. Reading. Math. Math. Technology. Technology. Whole child. Teachers. Enrichment. Enrichment. Support the CEF endowment. Become, Become an, an annual, annual donor. donor. Fund our schools. Fund our schools. Fund our schools. Together, Together we can, we can do, do this. this.